Hello everyone, my name is Braylon Hobbs and I'm an astrologer and educator with The Noble Source, a spirituality-based gift shop in Wheeling, West Virginia. This is the first video in a weekly series where we'll first examine what astrology is and why it matters, and later we'll provide horoscopes free to watch on YouTube. To begin, there are traditionally 12 signs of the zodiac, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricornus, Aquarius, and Pisces. But what are they really? Well, they're constellations, or arrangements of stars in our sky, which the sun passes through along its path which is called our ecliptic. There are a lot of constellations, a total today of 88, of which more than half were discovered and plotted by Ptolemy during the turn of the last millennium. In his scholarly books, called the Tetrabiblios, Ptolemy was trying to unite the studies of philosophy, geography, mathematics, and astrology. Ptolemy's model helped us create our current understanding of the solar system. Imagine yourself on the planet Earth, watching the path of the sun night after night. You notice how each evening a subtle change in positioning would systematically grow to become a predictable pattern. An understanding of these positions would be crucial in a budding civilization to prepare for harvests, times for planting, and to prepare for winter. Rapid advancements were able to be made after some key observation. Certain stars remain fixed in place. We call those fixed stars. But some appear to wander. We call those wandering stars. We know them as planets today. Observing the sun gave birth to astrology. By watching how these wandering stars travel, we were witnessing a greater arrangement in our cosmology. These wobbles and regressions of stars and planets gave early credence to what we would calculate as the Great Year. Our solar system was a giant grandfather clock. Certain cultures were able to capture this understanding with their naked eye and encode these concepts in ancient writings to pass on this knowledge. But can astrology explain how any of this matters? How do these planetary positions supposedly affect who we are? It's possible the mass, gravity, and velocity of these planets radiate an unseen frequency that influences our subconscious. Myths were created to help describe the effects these heavenly bodies had on us. Some planets were personified by gods and spirits, and that it was their influence responsible for our eccentricities. The origin of the word lunatic alludes to the ancient myth that the moon, or luna, could change a rational person into a madman. Science has shared that the moon's presence is enough to create tides in the ocean. If the moon's forces are real, then can our bodies, composing mostly of water, also feel these emotional tides moving within us? And if so, is that why the light of the sun is so important for our bodies and minds? It would appear that we have always depended on the unseen energies of these planets, and it's the astrologer's job to help you interpret these arrangements. Your birthday is a still-framed photo of stars and planetary arrangements that is unique to you. So why not see what these arrangements have to say? Your birthday, time of birth, and location are plotted out on what astrologers call a birth chart. Interpretations and correlations are made by examining relationships the planets have with the signs, their angles, and their effects. Symbolically, the positions of these planets and signs are a template that is personified as a planetary energy manifested through matter. Or more personally, who you are was once captured as a precise moment in the universe. Astrology matters because a correct birth chart can tell an astrologer more about a person's identity than his resume. You might be surprised to its practical applications. As a tool, astrology can be used to examine the self, others, and help prepare an individual from all the pushing and pulling of the stars and planets. It can provide insight into the feelings, thoughts, and desires, and ambitions of your fellow man, and assist in seeing the interconnected nature that is life. In a nutshell, astrology 
can help reveal you to you.